Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find a high quality manufacturer that can do private labeling. So, Metro Pen has a question from Reddit, which is, best way to source products? They're sort of tired of Shopify and they only do generic items such as teacups, bags, t-shirts, and cups. Uh, how do they find a high quality product sell with their logo on it? It's a good question. So I'm doing this right now, and I think I found a manufacturer to do it. So uh, my partner, my business partner and I, we sell pH meters online. We sell them on Shopify and we sell them on Amazon. Where we found our manufacturer, we looked on Alibaba, we looked all over, but where we found our manufacturer is we Googled. <laughs> we Googled it. We typed in pH manufacturer and we started from there. And it actually, it was someone on the first page, I don't know if it was number one or number two, um, uh, that we started talking to and we found out that they were an excellent manufacturer to work with and that's how we found them. Um, what I'm doing now is for uh, another product that I'm working on is um, I went on to Google again and I used Google Maps and I typed in my search term um, and uh, then manufacturer. So let's say I'm looking for um, pants. So I would type in pant manufacturers. And Google Maps will show you a bunch of manufacturing. And I, for this product, I wanted to do manufacturing in the US uh, because I realized manufacturing in China, which our last product is doing, um, is uh, there's lots of extra things, extra hurdles you have to go through, such as customs and shipping and a bunch of other stuff. So I didn't want to deal with that. And so I thought, I just want to do it in the US. So that's well, step one is where do you want to manufacture? Uh, and what I'm finding now is that the cost to manufacture in the U.S. is about the same as what I'm finding on Alibaba, shockingly. Um, so just to put that in perspective. Um, so, so we'll go back to my example, which is pant manufacturers. So I've been pant manufacturers, and then I put up a spreadsheet, the name of the pant manufacturer, where they are, um, their website, the phone number, uh, notes I have about them, and then the questions I would have, which are, um, do they do private label? That'd be the first question. Um, do they, um, what is their minimum order? What is their, uh, what is the price per, uh, order? Um, do they have any problems? Uh, do they have any limitations on manufacturing? Some will only do some sorts of types of fat fabric. Others will have a limitation on how much they can produce. Those are things you want to know. Um, and then, okay. So that's how, you, that's how you find it. And by calling you'll, you'll, I've called, 10 to 20 manufacturers. And from that, you will find the one that works best for you, that they have a reasonable minimum order, um, that they do exactly what you want. That's how you do it. One thing i found is different industries call private labeling some, everything else. Because when I started first doing it, I, I, I would just call people and say, Hi, do you do private labeling? <clears throat> and they say, no, we don't do labeling, we do fabric. And they would hang up on me. <laughs> Uh, I mean, one person hanging up to me, but there were a lot of people were polite about it. But I realized I was using the wrong term. The term that they use is custom orders. Um, so be mindful of that. Sort of don't ask them to do private labeling. Ask, tell them what you want, and they'll respond. Oh yeah, of course we do that. Um, so you know, the, the d different industries have different terms for it, but they're and then they're all doing it. Some people call it third party manufacturing or OEM manufacturing. Um, so make sure you're, you're communicating what you want. Um, so that's, that's how I would do it is just, uh, go up on Google maps and, uh, start calling people and making a spreadsheet. That's how you make it do it. <laughs> Good luck.